محمد رسول الله محمد رسول الله All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam If the people of the graves could talk they would wish to come back to life and do as many good deeds as they can but they cannot so we still have this opportunity as we are still alive and in the month of Ramadan so what we're going to do there are secrets and virtues in everything Allah legislated so what are the virtues of fasting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim So we understand that the purpose of fasting is to attain taqwa which means Allah's consciousness and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thus, taqwa gives us sincerity. What if someone eats in secret and fasts in public? This is the hypocrisy and the insincerity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes. Therefore, Ramadan came to distinguish between the true believer and an insincere believer. To distinguish between who really fears Allah in secret and public and who may just do these things to please people. So fasting is the greatest ritual. Why not? And it is a direct relationship between my heart and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And nobody can trick or lie to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah the Exalted and Majestic said, Every act of the son of Adam is for him, except as-siyam, the fasting, which is for me, and I reward him for it. So the true believer fasts only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and is mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala secretly and publicly. So we could spend the whole day alone and nobody sees us, and we don't eat or drink because we are sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees us. Also in the fasting we stop the halal things such as eating or drinking. So from this we learn to also stop haram things. So fasting helps us to get rid of bad habits and attain good habits because we do the exact same things for 30 days. Then we acquire the self-discipline and strong willpower and then everything afterwards gets easy. So what is the problem if I quit smoking? So what if I stop gossiping? So what if I wake up every day to pray Fajr? Then our soul will be the leader, not our whims, desires and body. So fasting teaches us to reach the status of Ihsan. When we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if we see Him, we attain the feeling of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us in all matters. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Ihsan is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if you see him and if you don't achieve this state of devotion then take it for granted that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. So we cannot get the full taqwa except if our limbs fasted from disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night. So we preserve our eyes from looking at haram, preserve our ears from listening to haram speech and our tongue from gossip or lies, and ourselves from haram money or food that comes up from riba, usury, bribe, stealing or cheating, and our legs from walking to haram places and our hands from touching or committing haram things. That is the purpose of fasting. The Prophet peace be upon him said, if a person doesn't avoid the false talk and false conduct during siyam, then Allah doesn't care if he abstains from food and drink. Fasting leads us to recognize the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we fill in the disease of entitlement and forget Allah's gifts. We wake up every morning, see the light, trees and the sun. We can hear, smell with no pain or sickness and yet we became so familiar with it. 
that we don't recognize it as a gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us. We no longer stop to appreciate it, nor do we say Alhamdulillah. And thus we don't remember the poor who have nothing or the blind who could not see such things. So fasting wakes up people's soul to remember Allah's gifts and get out of the state of forgetfulness and to count Allah's blessings. Then we help the poor and needy and our heart gets softer and loses its harshness. Fasting improves strength and endurance through physical abstentions. Fasting frees us from slavery to our whims and desires. Fasting helped a lot of people to quit fast foods, smoking and drugs. So fasting gives us self-discipline, patience, forgiveness and peace. We get hungry and thirsty and all kinds of food and drinks are available to us. But we don't eat or drink. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Fasting is a shield. So when one of you is fasting, he should neither indulge in obscene language nor should he raise his voice in anger. If someone attacks him or insults him, let him say, I'm fasting. Fasting makes us strong and weakens shaitan authority over us. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, When Ramadan begins, the gates of Jannah are open, the gates of hell are closed and the devils are chained. So Ramadan is a good opportunity to know my own self. Before Ramadan, I used not to pray Fajr in Masjid, and I would blame the Shaitan. So now Shaitan is chained. So if I didn't go to pray, then the problem in me, not in the Shaitan. And then I should search for a cure within my soul and heart. My heart has the disease and I need to heal it. Before Ramadan, I used to gossip, so if I still gossip in Ramadan, then I have a problem and I have to take action to heal it. So Ramadan is a great opportunity to know our heart and soul's diseases and cure them. It's really a great opportunity to know your real self. Fasting is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get rid of toxic materials in our bodies and purifies the body from the bad things which our bodies would carry throughout the whole year. It will slow our aging bodies, reactive the digestive system, strengthen our hearts. And that is the understanding of what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran. يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ Allah intends for you ease and doesn't intend for you hardship. May Allah grant us the best. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته